All right, well, hello guys. Today we are talking about creating sites in force.com or more specifically force.com sites. Now these are public sites that you can use to expose different pages or different data to customers um, in a public manner so that they can access some of the data and interact with you and have that data flow directly back into Salesforce automatically. So this is a really useful piece of functionality, um, but this tutorial is gonna be really simple on just how to set up a domain name and how to set up the site itself um, and what different components are available within a site. And hopefully from here on out, we'll have future tutorials where we can build things that we can then make public using a site. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we always just go ahead and log into Salesforce. Now from my setup page, I'll go ahead and search for sites. And I'll click on that link that shows up called sites. And from here, I need to actually choose a domain name. So make sure you choose one that you're willing to use because you won't be able to change this in the future. Uh, I'm going to check that it's available and I'm going to register it. So now I have a domain name that's available to me. I need to create a site. So I'll click new. And from here, I can give it a label and a name. And I need to define some things about my site. For example, I need to give it a home page. So I'll go ahead and click on that little looking glass icon. And I'll choose one of the available home pages here. Now I could put in a robots.txt file or I could put in a custom favicon um, and I can also put in an analytics tracking code like a Google Analytics tracking code for example. So I could go ahead and enter that in there um, and it would automatically track the page hits. So I'll click save and now my site is available and I can see these different Visual Force pages that I have. I want to create a new one. So I'm going to go to my developer console. So I'm going to fast forward through this part. I'm essentially just creating a basic page that's just going to hold some text so that I can show you how we can make that page available on our site. So I'm going to save this page and I'll go back to my site. And now what I can do is I can edit those Visual Force pages and I see my page right there. I'll go ahead and add that to the enabled Visual Force pages and I'll save. All right, so now that we've created that Visual Force page, let's make it our home page. So I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to choose that home page. Um, looking glass icon again, and then I'm going to choose the page I've just created, site homepage. And I'm going to enable it, and I'm going to save. So now if I actually click on the URL, I can go see what comes up when I visit my site. And there's the page I've just created. So that's a really simple, really easy way to enable a Visual Force page. Now one last thing, maybe we want to enable an Apex class. For example, maybe there's an Apex class that that page utilizes we actually have to make that available separately. So we'll go to public access settings. And within this, you can see all of the different access settings to objects, fields, etc., that are available on the profile that has access to the site. But down the page at the very bottom, what you can see is you can enable specific Apex classes for this profile. So we'll click on edit on those enabled Apex classes, and we can choose any of the available Apex classes to add and enable them. So once we've done that, we've essentially created a site and a Visual Force page, and we've put it on the site. All right, so that's it. Really simple, and hopefully that was helpful to you. I'm going to post a little bit more detail on my blog post, as always. There are some limitations you want to keep in mind when you're using force.com sites. I'll go ahead and detail those in the blog post. If this was helpful to you, consider subscribing, consider liking. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.